But y'all, but me, I'm so excited about this new flesh list by Shopify. I think it's something that React Native devs have been waiting for a while because with that list, um, initially we had the scroll view, and then the scroll view was low, was slower when it comes to like large volumes of data, and you had to use the flat list. But then we still saw that there are some struggles even with that because sometimes uh, you have large volumes of data, you have applications within your data, and uh, it just overwhelmed uh, flat list. And uh, there's also like the visualized uh, flat list, which you can use as well. But so far, we haven't seen anything signif significant in the React Native community like this. I'm very psyched and like I've used it as well and I'm impressed. So what is the, what this is just like a, it's it's a flat list it's a new lab, uh, library released by Shopify. So it says yeah, <laughs> swipe from flat list in seconds get instant performance. I mean they're not lying about that. And the way it's done is that it has similar props like your flat list so that you don't have to get familiar with a new uh, library of uh, or, or prop of, of doing things. So wh what it does is that you're going to use the same render item that you normally use when you're doing uh, your normal uh, flat list and you pass in your data. So they claim that it's five times faster than your React Native flat list, which is, which is the impref impressive still. And then they note here it's even up to 10x Faster when you when you compare it to when it's running on on the JS thread, this 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 is <laughs> amazing, and like it does, sort of like uh give some additional benefits as well. And for example, being memory efficient, f uh develop friendly, uh, so <sighs> its installation guys is so super easy. It's just like yarn add at Shopify flat list. And then currently this this one is showing if you're using a pure react native app I mean that you're using the react native from the cli you'd have to go through the steps but if you're using uh like the export dev client you simply don't ha you don't have the additional steps of, of cd like cd into ios and port install so with that one you just have to export install at shopify flat list flash list export dev client it's like just just like that so you can can use it in the export dev client as well so i'll put a link in the description on how you do it for the export dev because initially it was not available for export it was just for uh react native cli but luckily the guys at expo uh thanks to evan bacon for just like pr promptly releasing uh the guide and uh, uh, on how to do um, the flash list in, in export dev. So like I noted here, so you simply export install if you're using it on expo and then on React Native, this, this is how you do it. The currently, it is an open source uh, library or there's a, here's a repo here. So you can actually contribute to it or just download it from the source. So like, let me show you some of the examples the community has, have gone through and, 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 and implemented just using this flat list. So here they're testing the performance of the React Native flat list versus the, the flash list. We can see that with the flash list, it use, like, uses only uh, around 148 percent com as compared to to the flat list which support 217 uh, percent utilization of cpu on on the lower end phone which is, which is still like <laughs> that's a big improvement and you can see the ram numbers there like frame time that's another important one look at that so it's like 9.9 .9 milliseconds using flash list which is around 29 percent less I mean that, that that's that's very impressive. That this is like this is like on a lower end device. So when we check some of the examples here, we have a Twitter clone, 
one is using flat list and one is using flash list you can actually see that like it takes time for the one which is using flat list to actually like render the ui elements it's just like there's a there's a like a moment whereby it's actually calculating uh which is like <laughs> yeah it's, so what, what happens is that like the 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 scroll just logs because like the the javascript interface is dead the thread so but with with flat list you can see like seamless and smooth let's see another example this is also another example as well whereby you have the left which is this one running on on the on the flat list and then you have the right just using like this is the flush list this is the flat list i don't have to say much you can already see the difference how fast and smooth the flush list is so this is like game changer it's 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 I'm, I'm out of words that's how amazing it is let's see one more example so here this is like an e-commerce store so they're implementing like flush list for their list and you can see that they have lots of items uh, t-shirts clothing uh, and like you can just simply swipe up uh, and it's like smooth not buggery and you don't see any like like locking of any kind so this is amazing simply amazing so let, let's see if we can have like uh see on, on lower end device on high end devices it's even way faster so there's not much i can say rather than just like try it out try it on a simple project try it out on a mini project i mean you'll be amazed just as me <laughs> cool i'll i'll do a, a more in-depth tutorial about flat list coming soon so just watch out for that i'll also implement it on my other apps as well which we're using flat list i'll show you the difference between the two apps cool have a great one y'all